beginning of the account current balance okay give it okay 10000 is their amount dv after some withdrawal action, uh, end of the day so in your account you did the transaction maybe 2000 withdraw your current balance what is the current balance so 8000 is there okay so the 2000 withdrawal happen what is the amount happen 8000 happen okay the same way on 10th 1 2020 what is your amount total amount guys in your account what is the amount 8000 so it should be 8000 right so already the 9th will be your 10000 okay you withdraw 2000 rupees then what happen your car sales will be your account will be 8000 only so on 9th end of the day if you are 8000 then the same thing will be is going to there in your account 10th 10th also it will be it will show only 8000 only if not happen any credit or debits it will be 8000 only clear okay on 10th your account will be 8000 is there maybe i didn't have any withdrawals happen the end of the day also it will be 8000 come to the 11th 2021 again some transactions happen 5000 you withdraw so here it will be 8000 is there you withdraw 5000 then the amount will be 3000 okay so day one on 9th your what is your current balance end of the balance on 10th what is your end of the balance 8000 okay on 10th 11th you can how much is there 3000 is there so i want to calculate on day wise last three days what is your balance what you will tell 3000 3000 right if i do also the last three days what is your end of the balance each account means you have to say only 3000 only you can't calculate the on 9th you have 8000 is there on 10th, I have 8000 is there. On 11th, 3000 is there. I can't calculate 8 plus 8 plus 3. 19, I can't say 19,000. My 3 days end of the balance will be 19,000. We can't able to say that one, right? We can't able to sum. So, this current balance, we can't able to sum. What is the, the end of the day? What is your amount is there? That is only your current balance, either daily or weekly, whatever the thing, or yearly. So at the end of the day, what is there in your balance account? That is a, your daily balance or weekly balance or yearly balance. Right? So we can't able to sum this kind of measures by using the date wise. But you can able to calculate the account wise. For example, A1 account, A1 account, what is the current balance? 3000. Same A2 account. A2 account, so something 5000 is there. A3 account, maybe 10,000 is there. Now you can able to calculate the, what is my all three accounts, what is my balance, total amount. You have three accounts, I can able to calculate the sum the, so A1 is the 3,000 is there, A2, 5,000 is there, A3, 10,000 is there. I can able to sum, account wise I can able to sum. So total my three accounts, 18,000 is there, that I can able to sum. Account wise I can able to sum. But not date wise, I can't able to sum. The current balance, I can't able to sum by date wise. Clear? Any doubt here? Here, account wise, I'm going to sum. But not date. Date wise, I can't able to sum. The same way, inventory also, stock also. Stock also. So, beginning of the inventory. Beginning of the inventory end of the inventory beginning of the inventory amount or end of the inventory amount so take the quantity or amount whatever the end of the inventory so so beginning of the inventory 10 quantities are there at my store at the beginning and p1 products 10 are the total i sold three 
the, the 8 will be there still the pending sorry 7 will be there okay total total 10 is the beginning of the stock so 10 products are there in my store on the store one so end of the day on 10th so the i already sold by three products p1 products the remaining will be end of the inventory how much is there in your stock mean seven is there okay the same way product two also to be there five i sold one so total four are there okay same p3 three are there so i didn't sold anything the three will be there now what is my products store one how many products are there you can able to sum you can say seven four three fourteen total fourteen products are there at the beginning in my store in the beginning eighteen store eighteen are there out of eighteen some six or four are sold and the remaining will be four is the present okay and the store one same thing you can able to store two also you can able to tell you can able to calculate the store also so what is my two stores product means what you have to say you have to sum the two stores product how many are there total 28 products are available in the two stores all the products still the 28 stock is available 28 items are there available in the my two stores on a particular day if i want to go to the same 11th okay so what happened tell me guys on 11th this is the 10th p1 will be 7 is there what happened here beginning will be 7 and p on 10th day the end of the stock will be 7 what happened the 7th day the beginning of the stock will be 7 only correct so today i close the shop whatever i close the stop this shop the, tomorrow if i open the same amount, same stock will be there in the my store so because of it night it won't happen any transaction in the my store because i close the store right so always the end of the inventory equal to tomorrow beginning of the inventory that is a logic okay today end of the day means tomorrow beginning of the inventory both are the same okay but now so from what is my two days beginning of the inventory means i can't able to sum these things i can't able to sum the so today is there this much beginning of the inventory total 36 and and next day this much 28 36 plus 28 i can't able to sum the on two days beginning of the inventory so whatever the today is there in your beginning that is only your latest one okay i can't able to sum the day one beginning day two beginning like that but date wise i can't able to sum clear guys these kind of measures these kind of measures we called as a semi additive measures some of the dimensions we are able to sum some of the dimensions we can able to sum but not other dimensions those kind of facts we call as a semi additive facts clear guys any doubts here i can i can explain one more time if you have any doubts what is a semi additive measure what is additive measure additive fact and semi additive fact additive fact is nothing but the we can able to sum all of the dimensions in a fact table that fact we can able to sum the whatever the dimension keys are there in the fact table we can able to sum all of the dimensions but come to the semi additive that measure whatever the fact is there that fact measure we can able to sum by using the phi of the dimension but not all the dimensions those kind of facts we call as a semi additive clear guys any doubt here this is important guys in when and the remote report uh, report point ba validation this we have to know the functionality okay next we are going to discuss the non additive i am going to take again sales in again i am going to take the sales fat sales 
false fat cells have table i am going to take one more time so here i have taken the array to fat fat cells only quantity and amount now i am going to do one more time fat cells to explain the non additive fats okay okay so here will be so what is meant by non additive means so here additive means all of the dimensions we can able to sum here few of the dimensions we can able to sum in the semi additive here none of the dimensions we can't able to sum the fact sum the the particular fact those kind of measures we called as a non additive facts clear guys additive fact means we can able to sum all of the dimension in a fact table so semi additive means few of the dimensions we can able to sum but not others but here non additive means we can't able to sum any of the dimensions in a fact table those kind of fact we called as a non additive facts okay okay here see you can see so already we discussed the quantity is a additive fact i'm going to take actual actual amount or i'm just i'm going to remove the quantity here actual amount actual amount sold amount 